Good morning, church family and Facebook friends. It's good to be with you this morning on this Tuesday morning. It's a beautiful day. Had some rain yesterday. So today we're in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7, 8, and 9, where the Apostle Paul says, But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ? Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus, Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness of God by faith. The Apostle Paul said that he had counted everything loss. In other words, the, the, the songwriter said, uh, take the world and give me Jesus. That was kind of the idea of the Apostle Paul. Nothing in this world had such a hold or attraction on him that he wouldn't give it up for the Lord Jesus Christ. What has, what holds us? What holds our heart? What holds our affection? I'm afraid too many times we here in America, we allow things to hold our attention to the point that it makes it difficult to serve the Lord. And we should not be that way. Nothing in our life should be so important as serving the Lord. You say, well, I have things that I care deeply about. Now, I think Paul had things he cared deeply about. Paul had people he cared deeply about. Um, he had churches he cared deeply about. It's not that uh, he didn't care about things. It's just that his priority was Jesus Christ. What's our priority today? Is it our checkbook? Is it our material things? Nothing wrong with having a nice balance in your checkbook. Nothing wrong with having nice things. But do they hold us to the point that it prohibits us from serving the Lord the way we should? Let's make sure that we're doing the right thing. Let's make sure that our priorities are in the right place. That we put the priority on Jesus Christ. That as Paul said, that he gave all that up for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. That he wanted to know the righteousness which is of God by faith. And so today, let, let's, let's look at our life and let's make sure that Jesus Christ is the top priority. That we're willing to count all things but loss for him. I hope you have a great day today. Please know that I love you and I'm praying for you. And uh, I look forward to the time when we all can get together at church again. Have a great day. The Lord bless you.